Hey everyone, and welcome back to Story Gaming with some more Rams of Arcania Star Trail. Yeah, I immediately created the next episode after the last one because I got this old woman talking to me. And while I was explaining the quest shit in the last one, I just realized, yeah, there is another thing going on. An old woman carrying a bucket of water approaches you. She stops moving after every single step, putting the bucket down, gasping for breath and then takes the bucket again to start her next step. None of you bypassers, uh, none of the bypassers takes any notice of her. Do you help the woman or continue? We are, we are, we're nice people, so let's help her. Probably Torfin carries the bucket. No, Arbush does. Yeah, because he's a dwarf. When the old woman just uh, has put, down, put it down again, says, let me carry the bucket. Just tell me where to deliver it. First the woman looks frightened at Arbush, then she pulls her wrinkles to a terrible grimace, which is supposed to be a thankful smile. It nearly lasts an hour until you manage to deliver the bucket to the old woman's hut, which mainly results from the fact that she hardly moves faster without that bucket. <laughs> That's funny. Except my thanks, noble heroes, the woman <laughs> says in her piping voice. Since the orcs came across the svelte, nobody helps me anymore just because I have a lot of friends with the dwarves. Okay, I get that. Wait, I've got something for you. We got a mandrake for that, and yeah, we did that before in one of the other episodes. Salamanders, domesticated house-trained salamanders. They'll turn away bad luck, protect the house against fire, and make woman fertile. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> make woman fertile? Um, do you want to take a closer look? Yeah, sure, let's have a look. The woman across the other table looks strangely when you stop in front of her. Forgive me, your excellencies, but I only sell salamanders and not their stones. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. It's a waste of money. It's probably getting away. No, not gonna do it. So, what What now? I'm supposed to find uh, Aberalm, and I have no clue where he is. So, let's have a quick look. I could go here, figure out, maybe maybe he is somewhere here. So let's go up. Um, set up camp. So it's going to be a long travel. I kind of know what I'm looking for. Right? He, I think he is somewhere in the vicinity of, of that, or at least in the northwest somewhere. I guess if no one else has the courage. Sure, here. Make, make it three hours. No herbs? Well, we can sleep eight hours. And there's a battle. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Come on! Any time game. Okay, what we got? We got warhounds, we got orcs, we got more orcs. But that doesn't look too bad. It's just orcs. It's not orc archers. I hate orc archers. That should be fine. So you go here. Stay safe. Oh, there is an orc archer. I hope he's shooting. Nah. He is shooting at, at Kaya. Damn it. That could have gone horribly wrong. So what I will do to sort this um, I will bring Shireen over here and I will bring Torfin around here so this guy can shoot at him the hell with you? that was a good one um, Vindariel goes here and shoots at this orc. And Arbush just makes sure that he puts out a lot of damage there. So, now, let's uh, bring Kaya to a relatively safe location. He's shooting at Torfin, just as I planned. Then we have another orc, and then Arik can get away. So that setup should work. I don't think I need magic to win this battle. He 
Yeah, I don't. That should be fine. Let's kill the Boarhound. Nope, not like that. <laughs> and Shireen has some issues hitting. But I think we're getting there. Warhound. Skip Kaya. Vindariel. Kill him! Ah. She hit two so far on him. Remember my face. It's the okay. last one you will see. That's the Warhound. He's down. Arbush. Another hit. So that's like the, the regular hits. It's nothing special. But it works. We need to take out some of these. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Maybe Chereen should team up with Arbush. And rather take out this guy. Toffrin needs to stay here. It's it, which is a shame. Maybe I should shoot at him, but shoot at him. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. See if we can take him out. That was a hit. 16 damage is a good hit. Okay, Chereen and Arbash will now team up on this orc. Meaning... 76% and fail. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! Alright, Alric. One, two, three. Repeat. Steal his parry action. And 76%. That's one tough orc. What is that? Like, uh. No, it's a regular one. He might be running, though. Told ya. It's okay, I'm. I'm. I'm letting him leave. Right, I cannot repeat the last attack. That's fine. He'll go here. Good. That makes 23 hit points that he already lost. Maybe Shireen should focus on this dude. Because he already took two shots. Arbash took a nasty hit there. 29. Yeah, so Shireen, take on him. If, if he can flee, that would be acceptable. Skip. Skip. I'm going to lose it now of all times. Oh. You, you broke your weapon. Seriously, dude. Again. <laughs> Again? Come on. <laughs> Every time it's the same with you, Arbush. It's okay. We got this covered. So, uh uh, I don't want to skip that. Kill him! Ah. She failed. I think Murad mentioned that in the comments that. Was that Murad? I don't know who said that in the comments, that he was really frustrated about the amount of attacks failed. So that's a simple war axe. If, if I'm lucky, the orcs will drop one. I'm not gonna replace it. That's 31. Still up. One orc is fleeing. Very good. That's fine. Shireen can focus on this guy then. And Arbash can now use his new battle axe. <laughs> Into the intestines. 32 damage. <laughs> that was a good one. Change the weapon and immediately kill him. It's one of the scenes that would make you laugh so hard at the game table. So, she cannot shoot him, and she cannot, well, she can. 
two steps and <laughs> but Daryl must be the most vengeful of all forest elves. Laughing. <laughs> all right, Arbash, take on him. Seventy-one percent. You are all going to die. Twenty-two damage. And there's the archer running away. All right, that was fun. Fun little battle. I can replace my axe. Which is essentially what I wanted, right? So I can discard this one and I have another spare weapon. Alrighty. So let's follow this path. That was fun. Kaya finds two portions of will weed and some more. That was a nice find. Totally nice. Huh. Go back here, then over here. I need to explore this area a bit better. So we might be stuck and looking for Aboram for not only this episode, but maybe a bit more, right? Let's, uh, but we, we stick together. That's what we do. No herbs and eight hours of sleep. No battle today. That's fine. I can deal with, you know, like one, two days without battle. So everyone gets regenerated. That's fine. And by the way, if you plan on playing this game in pen and paper, yeah, that's something you don't do. As a, as a game master, you don't throw random encounters at your at your heroes like every day. Because you still want them to be special. And they lose their status of being special if they occur every day. That's something that a lot of people don't get and they have like oh another battle against five forest wolves some quick goblins and this is just annoying. Battles are supposed to be some sort of meaningful right or they should be at least. I, I might disagree there with uh, some people who are like really really focused on, on fighting skills but this is something that my players enjoy. We've, we've been having streaks in the game where we didn't have a battle in like two months and we meet on a weekly base. But they know when it's going down, it's going down. And they know it means something. Get more herbs. Ah. Interesting. I mean, I have like the very, very fertile landscape here, and it's uh, spring, Ingram. That's like May. Let's go over here. It must be somewhere. Um, bum 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 bum. Get some. Nah, I, I already have my supplies. But I will go with whatever one berry I find. How many you get? 49? I will need them all in the final dungeon. All of them. Let's see if we can get a quick march going. Uh oh. I'm being attacked. So, what do we have? Orc Archer, Orc Archer, three Orcs. Nothing else, okay. So you go to the back. Stay there. Ouch. But no poison, thank the 12 gods. Stay there. They're all coming for Vindariel. That's fine. Because if they are running, they cannot attack in the same turn. If they are running like this. And I can just pull back Vindariel. Cannot shoot at them from here, but let's let's wait until everything has been set up properly. We got our battle formation. 
And then we will kick some serious ass here. See, I will just position Cherine here. And then she can <laughs> break through in the middle or start breaking through in the middle. While I break every Torfin bone of does 22 damage against the next orc. You will roll going to die. And 11 here. So that was a good turn. I only got... You know, like... Nothing meaningful. Wow. That was a damage point for Torfin. And then we go over here. And we can just keep shooting at these guys from the back. He parried that. Oh, wow. That was not such a good turn. Because I didn't do any damage. And every turn where you don't do damage is a waste of time. <laughs> oh, I skipped Vindariel. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. You are all going to die. That was a good one. That way. And one orc down. Okay, cool. Skip Kaya. Skip Arik. Repeat that shot. Six damage. That was a nice one. So Remember this orc is, is dead already. Wow, that was fast. Let's move Arbush. And since he always I already was attacked, bone of yours. cannot parry anymore. You guys are so dead. Nine damage. Nice shot, Vindarel. Nice shot. That was his parry action. And this was my follow-up attack. And you see the orc archers, like, shooting with their little bows, and then Torfin runs towards them, axe high above his head, and they're like, shit. We're gonna die. It's that big, evil Thorvalian we already heard about. He's just coming for us now. Yep, he's coming for you. He is coming for you. And sometimes I wonder if if heroes of the men would have a reputation with orcs. Sometimes I really just wonder about that. Arbash goes for the one in the back, which is funny because he has the shortest legs. Another short joke about dwarves. It's not okay. Not politically correct. Uh, let's do a normal attack then. The hell with you. Oh, he's down. And Vindariel can shoot from the... Across the map and hits him. That was a good shot. Seven damage. So, you go here and just stay close to him as a target. Kaya, Arik, Vindariel repeats her shot. Another good one. Very, very nice. You stay there. Next turn. Nah. Yeah, next turn. I need to wait one turn. Oh, shit. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have put Torfin here. So, Arik, sorry. That one is on me. Let's do a normal attack. Which is already more powerful, right? Four damage. Now, Shireen stays here. And Arbush. 71. Fail. It's surprising how often those 70-something percenters fail. I'm not happy about this. Remember my face. It is the last one you will see. But you know when they hit? <laughs> they do hit. And it does hurt. Let's take the arrows and everything else I can leave here. Um, continue. I mean... Only the undead don't need to rest. A break would be a good idea? Sure, let's have a break then. So 
some food, some water, and you go for herbs for a couple of hours. Tarnals, Warweed, Goldmoon, Tonnies. Not too bad of a haul. And finally some rest. Let's switch that off. You shouldn't be doing a forced march every day just when it really matters or if you have to cover like a really long... Yeah, let's pick that up. The people breaking from the underbrush don't look anything like your everyday brigands, even on the first sight. They are much too well dressed and armed for that. Oh shit. Also, the fanatism in their eyes gives the impression that they are after more than just money. But most of all, none of you has ever heard of robbers yelling some battle cry in to you totally unknown but very cruel sounding language when they attack. What? 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 Oh wait, fanatics, what the hell? Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, that was not too good. Hang on, they all got bows? Let's investigate this. No. So three of them got bows and three of them don't. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back here. Just hope that the other guys cannot really shoot some magic missiles. No, they can't. They are wielding maces. That's fine. Here. Shireen can take on the first guy. What the hell are you? I have never... Oh, shit. At least they got poison. So I need to take them down fast. Especially the guys in the back. Alright. Um, let's do it then. Let's make sure we take them down fast. Arbush goes here. No, usual attack. Um, who's poisoned? Cherine is poisoned. Alright, so I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Arik close. Blood, be free of poison. Get get rid of that poison shit. And I will keep both maces close. These guys don't really joke around, do they? That's fine. Vendariel go here and give him a shot. Good, 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 good. Just to make... To need, yeah, I just need to make sure to stay alive and not get poisoned again. I wonder what these guys are. That was my alarm clock, sorry about that. Hmm. They're wearing purple. So they might be. They might be cultists of the nameless god. They sometimes wear purple. See, I need to heal Arbush. That was a good hit. And so was this. So go here. And fix them up. Come on. All right. Clarum, purum, herbal brew. Blood be free of poison. I wonder if they run out of poison arrows at some point. But we will see. Arik, save your action. I need to take them down real soon. So let's hope that Torfin really gets to his enemy soon. 
Then I can. Oh, that was a good one. And Arbash, seventy-one. Every single bone of yours. Wow, that was a good hit. But these guys are pretty tough for fanatics. Well, now they are fanatics, so they are just fanatically tough. That also gives me an idea of what I have to do back here. Arbush is not yet poisoned again. Into the intestines. And we repeat that one. Good, 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 good. One of them is down. You go here. Kaya stays there for now. I'm really done joking around here. So what I will do... I will take down another one of these. And they got pretty good combat values as well. But that's fine. Remember my face. It will not There's help the them in the long see. run. They will die. Eventually. It's a pretty tough battle though. The fact that they use poison... That can really... Turn the table so quickly. But if I'm lucky, Vindariel gets to kill at least one of them. Shireen hit and now Arbush. Take him! To Empire. Tell him to take him and he does take him. You go here. I need to reposition just a bit. So. Kaya stays there. I will bring Shireen here, Arik here. So, Arik goes here. And Vindariel goes back a couple of steps. While Arbush does this. And Shireen goes here. Now, she should be, or not actually, he should be the target, the main target. The question is just who, whom is he attacking, Remember right? Remember my face, it's the last one you will see. Paralu, okay. Paraline, be stiff as stone. Oh, really? Really, that's how you want to play that? You dirty little ass clowns. Okay. I will get another one of these, I think. So I will leave Torfin back here. I hope, I sincerely hope that they will shoot at Shireen. Hurry, Phobus Horope drives you into your joints. Oh, wow. I need to bring I need to bring Kaya over here. It's interesting that he just started using his magic. It's cool. I like that. It's a it's a really nice twist in the battle. Remember my face. It didn't help them though. <laughs> it did not help them. All right. So, let's bring uh bring Shireen, uh Kaya over here and make sure that we Get uh, the break domination running. Be stiff as stone. Oh shit! Now he that, that's it, that, that's going to be a bit more difficult now. Yeah, the challenge now is that uh, Kaya cannot undo spells anymore. However... Okay, that failed. They're not shooting at the back, so that's good. Gives me a little bit of time. 
to potentially kill him. Okay, so that, that wizard shit guy is down. Now I bring up Torfin. I will bring him here. I hope that works. No, he's running. But he shoots at Shireen. That's fine. I can I can deal with that. Um, Shireen just keeps following him. Was, this is nice. This is a really nice battle. I like when things go this way. I'm not sure if I will get a shot from here. But I can certainly try. Nah, it's not enough. Let's go over here. And see if Torfin can get close enough. No, he can't. And with that, he's shooting at Vindariel. Alright. 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 She's shooting back, though. Be prepared. Is laughing. And since you cannot parry anymore, let's make it a real one. Again. Failed. Here. I'm shooting back, dude. I'm shooting back. Now he's shooting at Arbush. Interesting. Is Arbush spell gone? Let's see that in a second. Yeah. The spell has dropped. I mean... Bewitching a dwarf is a hard task Every to do. Single bone of yours. 32 from Torfin. That's it. 5 ducats, 9 silver. No hint whatsoever what these guys are and what they want. That's a bit disappointing. I would have I would have appreciated some kind of a hint like what the hell do you guys want? Um I want to continue. And then set up camp. And then end the episode. Because we're 32 minutes in. My episodes tend to get too long. The next Let's Play series will feature episodes of around 20 minutes. I think it's it's far too long. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I had a lot of fun this time. And I see you in two days, hopefully. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done that yet, please subscribe to the channel. I need 1,000 subscribers to be, you know, eligible for monetization again. Not doing this for the money though. If you want to support the channel, go to my Patreon page and, you know, pledge there. I have a couple of interesting things going on there. Alrighty, thank you everyone for watching. i see you in two days. Until then, I am Stordier.